right? You are welcome again. Let's see. We are still in calculus. That is solving inequalities using sign chart. Now let's see what we can do again. This one says find the range of value of x for which x squared minus 2x is less than or equal to 16 plus 4x. You say find the range of values of x for which x squared minus 2x is less than or equal to 16 plus 4x. Okay. Pay attention and uh, let's solve together. Okay. What we are going to do is we take all the values in the right hand side to the left hand side. Okay. So we have x squared minus 2x. So 4x coming to the other side, it will be minus 4x. And then 16 coming to the other side to be minus 16, less than or equal to 0. Okay. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 4x will give us minus 6x. Okay. Then minus 16 is less than or equal to 0. Okay. Now from here, let's factorize. First, I solve a question and say, what are the two numbers that when you add them together to give you minus 6, then when you multiply them to give you minus 16. So the two number is 2 and 8. 2 minus 8 will give you minus 6. And then 2 times minus 8 will give you minus 16. Okay? So we'll end up having x squared plus 2x minus 8x minus 16 is less than or equal to 0. From here, let's group them. Let's group them 2 by 2. Then we'll have x squared plus 2x in bracket minus 8x minus 16 in bracket. Okay? It's less than or equal to 0. Okay, now let's factor out. In x squared plus 2x, what do they have in common? I think it should be x. So when you factor out x in x squared, you will be having x remaining. Then when you factor out x in 2x, you will have 2 to be remaining, okay? So that when you say x times x, it will give you x squared. And then when you say x times 2, it will give you 2x, all right? Now let's go to the second side. A minus 8x minus 16. What do they have in common? I think it should be minus 8, okay? So when you factor out minus 8 in minus 8x, what will be remaining will be x. And then when you factor out minus 8 in minus 16, you have plus 2, okay? So that when you say minus 8 times x to give you minus 8x, then when you say minus 8 times plus 2, it will give you minus 16 all less than or equal to zero all right now let's pick the numbers outside the bracket and then put them together and then pick one of those in bracket okay because those two in bracket they are same okay so we'll pick one so the numbers outside the bracket is x and uh, minus eight okay so we we'll have x minus eight in bracket so x plus two you know there are two we just pick one they will have x minus eight in bracket the uh, x plus two less than or equal to zero okay now pay attention to this level because we're going to use it in the future time okay now let's go we have x minus eight is less than zero or x plus two is less than zero okay let's open the bracket then we'll have x minus 8 is less than 0 or x plus 2 is less than 0. Okay, we'll have x. Well, let's take minus 8 to the other side to be x is less than or equal to 8. Or x, let's take 2 to the other side to be x is less than or equal to minus 2. Okay, so we end up having two values which are 8 and then minus 2. Now, please, we are done with factorization left for 
using sign chart and a number line. So please help me and draw a number line. You understand your number line now? Okay, oh, good. Now, in your number line, uh, figure out 8 and then minus 2. That are the two values that we obtain, okay? So, which one is the highest? We have 8 to be the highest, right? Then draw the arrow up, then forward. That is from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, upwards, okay? And then the second one from minus 2 downwards. So, here now we are having three rings of value. Now, number one is from minus 2 downwards, and number 2 is in between minus 2 and 8. And then number 3 is from 8 upwards. Okay, now if you want to represent them under the writing, you say that from minus 2 downwards is x is less than minus 2. That are all the number less than minus 2, okay? Now, the second one in between minus 2 and 8. You say minus 2 less than x less than 8. It's talking about uh, x is greater than minus 2 and then less than 8. Okay? And then the third value or third range is x greater than 8. That is numbers from 8 upwards. Okay? Good. Now, draw a table that is 4 by 4. Table, 4 by 4, okay? So, in the first row, we are going to replace it with the range of the values. The range of the values include x less than minus 2, then minus 2 less than x less than 8, and then x greater than 8, okay? Good. Now, let's go. In the first column, we're going to replace, we're going to write those values that we obtained, the, the first one, that equation one, okay? Now, let's go. We're going to have x minus 8 in bracket, and then the next one will have x plus 2. Then under them, we'll write product, okay? Good. Now, let's start choosing from our range of values. So, when we choose a number, in the first range and then the first range say minus two downwards so we can actually choose minus three okay so we we'll choose minus three then and then let's place it in the first expression the first expression say x minus eight okay so we we'll have chosen minus three to be our x so instead of writing the x we will replace it with what minus three so we we'll have minus three minus eight to give us minus 11 so half minus okay still in the same range let's still pick the same minus 3 and place in the second uh, expression which is x plus 2 so we have minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 so we have minus 2 so under the product we have minus times minus to give us plus okay now let's go to the second range the second range is in between minus two and eight okay so we can pick any number let's simply pick zero okay so that means our x is zero so x which is zero minus eight now it will give us minus eight so we're having minus all right now, in the second expression, we have x plus 2, and then our x, now we choose 0 to be our x, okay? So, we have 0 plus 2, we give you plus. Then, minus times plus, we give you minus. Okay? Good. Now, let's go. Let's take the last range, which is x greater than 8, any number greater than 8, okay? That is from 9, 10 upwards. So we can pick any number. Let's just pick 10, okay? Now we have 10 minus 8. We give you positive 2, okay? Then we we'll have positive. Then let's still use the same range, uh, yeah, which is 10. Now we'll place it in the second one. We have x plus 2. That means our x is to be what? 10 now, okay? 
because it's greater than 8. So we have 10 plus 2, it will give us 12. So we are having positive. Then positive times positive will give us positive. That is plus times plus will give us plus. Okay? Now let's go to the last uh, segment, which is conclusion. How are we going to conclude? Now pay attention to what this sign chart is all about. Please pay attention. You cannot be solving all these without knowing what they are all about. Just be solving math for solving sake, okay? Now we say that in the expression x squared minus 2x is less than or equal to 16 plus 4x is a quick range from number line will you pick and it will satisfy that what that expression in above so we have less than or equal to okay so under our product which range is having minus because we have less than less than should be what minus which range is having what minus we have minus 2 in between minus 2 and 8. Now let's pick for example now. For instance, let's pick 0 because 0 is in between. Okay? And then let's piece, uh, let's put it in that expression. Expression say x squared minus 2x. Okay? Is less than or equal to uh, 16 plus 4x. Okay? Now let's go. We have we picked zero right so zero square minus two times zero is less than 16 plus four and then zero okay zero square is zero minus uh two times zero 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 minus zero zero less than or equal to 16 plus four times zero zero okay so we have 16 definitely zero is less than 16 so that is what we are just asked to prove. So we used a sign chart and we prove it. Okay? So the one that is correct is a thus the original inequality is true if minus two is less than x, less than eight. That is, it is true for the range for the numbers in between minus two and eight. Alright? Yes, thus the original inequality is true if minus 2 is less than x less than 8. Yes, thank you very much. Please keep practicing. Keep practicing and keep watching our tutorials every day. We are uploading them, alright? Thank you very much. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and remember less, alright? Thank you.